Okay, so we are playing Tyler One Cosplay again, of course. But we're also in a kind of an awkward game. <sighs> we are just having a look around at like what we can go. I've got a level two of Ghost Ranger. I think I'm probably gonna go into Hunters this game. Someone said one man ten items. One man one. Where's the uh where's the guy with ten items? Is it this guy? Should we have a look around for the ten items? This guy doesn't have ten items. This guy's got... Oh my god! This guy has actually got an insane number of items. What about this guy? No. I actually have an okay number of items. I've got two bone claws and I think I've got two shields. I think one of my shields is on this guy here, off stage. I'm probably going to bring on um, Cave Clan as a frontline. For my hunters, but I'm just using mechs for the time being. Yeah, we should win this. There we go. Does a that's a really big AOE. I, I didn't really realize how big Ripper's AOE was. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna say goodbye to my mechs now. I'm gonna sell them off. I'm gonna bring in Cave Clan, and I'm going to give a shield over to my Taboo Witcher as well. I kind of want, I do want him in the middle. I want him that side probably most of the time. Do I buy Abyssal Garden Werewolf? I probably buy Werewolf. Just for the time being. So this is going pretty well. He's also going Hunters. Everyone looks like they've got the, some sort of like feathered bonus above their head. It's really weird. They've all got these feather icons. I'm going to move my microphone a little bit closer, actually, because I've realized that you guys uh, can't hear me a lot of the time. So I'm going to move it much, much closer to my, to my face. One more Red Axe Chief would be ideal. It's a taboo. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man. What do we do here? There's a real opportunity to go into... Let's just do this. I think that's probably better, right? That probably that probably does better for us overall. Oh, wait. There we go. Don't need to do it. Can do it like this. Just level up on curve. So he's not going to get his... I mean, that's kind of a useless target to be focusing, but at least he doesn't get his taunt off, I guess. Yeah, the bounce. I told you, like, Desperate Doctor is underrated. Desperate Doctor is heavily underrated. So we can go Glacier Clan Warriors, I guess, is the uh, is probably the play here. Maybe we go... Can we Glacier... We can't Glacier Clan Hunter. No, we can't Glacier Clan Hunter. Like, that's just not a, that's not a composition, is it? Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh my god, really? They're doing this to me? I mean, I can sacrifice the cave clan bonus to bring on a doom. Maybe he goes... I mean, he's probably not featuring in my lineup, right? She's got both my bone claws. Are we... What are we doing here? That's what we need to figure out. What are we doing here? Resistance cloak. We need some stuff. Dracula mask. He likes Dracula masks. We'll see over the course of the next few rounds. Like this is um, this is very spicy. This is very spicy. Cause like I could go hunters, or I could go warrior glacier clan. I can still do both. Alright, goodbye. Bring on him. You have that. You have that. I'm just going to buy the hunter. In case. Like, like, just buying it because potentially we... Is it possible to go three hunters... 
No, it's not. It's not possible. We can't mix that. It's just not possible. There isn't any. There isn't any crossover. There isn't a Glacier Clan Hunter. There just isn't enough crossover. I think we just build off a win streak here. We've got a plus two win streak right now. A lot of people going hunters as well. There are a lot of people going hunters. I'm going to sell off my hunters. I kind of want to get my economy going. Something I do often uh, neglect is my economy. I'm not going to go Abyssal Guard. Just, I mean, I'll buy him because it doesn't make a difference to how much I make next turn and I can always sell him. I still like just being up front. There, there doesn't seem to be any... Um... The question is, do we get to seven? What benefit do we get getting to seven? Not much right now, so I guess we just keep going as we are. I always make a decision about seven if I see other people at seven, and there's one person at seven right now. It's not the guy that I'm facing. The guy that I'm facing is Aardvark, who is disconnected right now, but he doesn't have any level twos. Um, he has got a uh, Berserker, but eh. I also turned off my lights, so there's like a weird hue. I'm really sorry. Let me let me sort that out. Maybe turning on this light will sort it out. It has. Okay, that's kind of sorted it out. One one light sorted it out, though. She's great. I actually just think we get to 50 gold right now. I actually just think that we get to 50 gold. I think that's probably the, the better play. I'm keeping my Aegersis Ranger in for the time being because she's level 2 and she just got she does quite a lot of damage so it's, it's worth it for the time being. Um, maybe I can go like Warriors, Glacier, to Agursis. I mean, it's, it's a possibility if we bring in Soul Reaper, right? Anyone else got to level 7 yet? Level 7 here. There's only one person at level 7. Um, and how likely is that I lose to him? I mean, he's getting beaten up, right? So, I don't even think we need to get to level 7. I think we can just play Heavy Wind Streak. Going to pick him up for the, uh, you know, the likelihood that we could potentially go into, um, into Glacier Clan. Give me a second, I'm just going to go check on my little boy. He's asleep. If you um, have seen any of my other videos where I was wearing this top, I recorded them all in one day. Um, sorry to break the fourth wall or whatever. Uh, he uh, he was very grumpy earlier. Very, very, very grumpy. I'm also watching Claytano at the time of the recording this video, who, and he seems to be uh, doing very well with a Hunter Druid composition, going up against a, uh, a Mage composition, unfortunately, so he's actually ended up losing a little bit, but uh, irrespective of that, he's doing really well. I would recommend going and watching Claytano at twitch.tv forward slash Claytano. He's, um, he's really, really good. I'm on an 8 win streak. Bam! Yeah! This is good. I only have time for one more game today, so... If this goes well, 54, should we just roll once? Yeah, I think we roll once. Do we want to take off Doom for this guy? One, 1,300, he's a bit tankier. Doom, actually, Doom's just good. Doom's just still really good. Um... We want these two, because they'll bring us the beast bonus. Forgot to position for wolves, but I'm hoping that we're going to be okay with that. Maybe. I mean, actually, we're probably not going to be okay. I was too busy talking to you guys to position for wolves. Fish fork. Oh, that's a good taunt. That's a good taunt. Is it going to be good enough, though? That's a really, really good whirlwind. Cattle hide armor. Wooden club. Yes, baby. We want to combine that onto Berserker. And then we would also like to give Berserker the fish fork. Which I think I can combine with bone claw as well. So you go like that. I'm going to just level up here. Yeah, level up next round. I don't want to, I actually just don't want to drop below. I really just don't want to drop below uh, 50 gold. Even though I uh, didn't mean to do that. 
Yikes. Well, uh, there we have it. I meant to open up this, but because not many people are level 7, but this Ziggo guy, this Ziggo guy is level 7. Um, he is playing Assassins, so I probably would have won this whatever happened. Because Assassins aren't very good. Razor Claw is good, though. Um, I've probably told you time and time again, Razor Claw, whatever composition you put Razor Claw in, if he gets his, his ability off, he's actually just sick. I think we can afford to sell him for two gold. Bye. <laughs> Red Axe Chief is good. Siren is also good. Red Axe Chief. Swordman. Let's roll one more time. That's good. Um, hmm. Goodbye, Siren. And hello, Tusk Champion. I need some more Berserkers, but I need to get to... I essentially need to, probably need to think about getting to level 8. Are we going to get any Mages? Yes, Bar Mali is going Mages, which means I probably will need to think about a um, Siren at some point. At some point. I, I don't care about it now, because Mages aren't strong right now. And if I'm, if I'm wealthy enough, I should be able to get to a point where... Sirens are, are not that big of a deal. Let's go for this. Let's roll. Okay, that's nice. Um, okay. I think we buy him, absolutely. We roll one more time. We roll again. We roll again. Doom. Uh, I'm going to sell off these guys for the time being. Because these are more important. And then we'll get level 8 and bring Pirate Captain on for the 6th warrior um, I don't mind dropping just below 50 gold in circumstances that are exceptional and this is one of those exceptional circumstances and this is actually the Barmali guy we beat him fairly convincingly so we need to start investing in experience now actually should I sell off one thing I can sell off one Tusk champion screw it because we get him back anyway Roll, roll, donk. We're not going nine warriors, that's for sure. Nine warriors actually isn't that good, in my opinion. I think it it falls off. I mean, it, it, it loses. It. Nice bug, no ulties. Who said that? Pawn one. No, that's not pawn. There's no pawn one. I don't know who that is. I'm wondering whether it was Barmali... And if it was Barmali, it's probably because my Red Axe taunted him and he couldn't cast any of his ultimates. So Hunter's here. This is um, this is a, an issue. Is that the Hunter bonus and not the Feathered bonus? Because if that's the Hunter bonus, that's really, really obnoxiously annoying considering it's literally a Feather. God, we are making, like, so much money. Could do that, and I'm going to bring on Pirate Captain. Put him in the middle. I'm going to buy a Defector. Don't make a YouTube comment, because I bought the Defector this time. So I'm going to buy a Defector in case uh, I do want to go for the 4 Glacier Clan. Um, it really depends what I can upgrade and get on the field. I probably do, but it's like that's like a later strategy. Um... What I really want is, like, level 8. Broken sword. Combinable with who? Combinable on Igersis Ranger. Put on. And that needs that. Well, I'm going to sell her, right? She's getting sold eventually. In fact, there's a case for me to sell her now. And put all of that stuff onto him. And then bring on him. Buy him. Okay. That's what we wanted. Rank up. That's pretty good. I, I would love a level 2 Berserker, personally. That would be pretty nice. 
He has got 144 damage right now, which is actually insane. So I sold off my Aegis Ranger um, because I don't really need her anymore. I've got the beast bonus on, and I've got like all my warriors. Got two humans, got two cave clan, got two beast, got two glacier. We could get level 9 and just bring two more glacier clan on, which I actually think would end up giving me a really good composition. Um, not level 9, I'd need level... Um, I need level 10. I could get rid of one of my warriors, but I don't know who I'd get rid of. When I'm this far ahead, I just like to invest in levels. Um, the reason being that I don't want to roll like crazy when I don't need to, and I don't know how, who I'm competing with. Um, I'm maybe competing with this guy, but he's going mages. Maybe competing with this guy, but he's almost dead. Like, There's no one else that's going like as much as I am in terms of what I'm building here. Just need a level 2 Berserker. I also would like a level 2 Doom, level 2 Pirate Captain are on my lists. This is another mage. Um, if I start to really suffer against mages, what we're going to have to do is think about integrating a marine bonus into the composition somewhere. Um, as, as you can see, uh, the, the mages are starting to do some serious damage. If he had Tortola Elder at level 2, I would have lost this already. So I need to clear my bench and then think about uh, marine if, if I really start to struggle versus the, these people. There is the marine. We are just going to get to level 9, though. Um, I want level 9 because I can bring on... Uh, I can take off one warrior, because I still retain the 6 warrior bonus, so I can take off um, any one of my warriors, probably Red Axe, um, even though I lose the Cave Clan bonus and I'm almost at Red Axe 3. He's probably just the weakest of the warriors. Um, and then I can bring on all of the Cave Clan, uh, the Glacier, if I can find them. I'm actually taking a lot of damage here. I lost my... I did end up losing my... Um, did end up just losing my guy, my dude. If I need to um, reposition versus these assassins, this is something that I'm going to have to consider. This guy's going to have me my first loss. Uh, if I start to play these assassins more regularly, this is Ziggo, uh, I will need to be careful. It depends if he gets wiped out on this, this turn. I actually got killed by him, which is insane. Berserker. Roll. Roll, Doom Arbiter, rank up, Berserker off here. Can I sell anything? No, I, I can't. I'm happy to... I, I, I will just chill here. This is perfectly fine. Um, Maybe we should start to get into more of like a this type of position. The problem is that it's worse, but I mean, it separates the mages out a little bit, which is good. Um, you always want to try and separate the mages out, but I mean, look at the damage he's doing. Again, it all really, do I mean, I have to adjust my composition based on who ends up in the later stages of the game. Um, this guy, Bam Ali, is still going really well. He's losing to me, but I don't think I will, I don't think I'll beat him for long, especially if he brings on a, um, there we go. That's absolutely pog. I'm level nine now. Who can I bring on for level? I mean, we can bring on him for the time being. It's another Berserker. We buy it every time. Soul Reaper. Is there any point bringing on Soul Reaper? It doesn't really give me anything. I'd rather just bring on more warriors who benefit from the armor bonus. So I need level 10 to really activate the full composition. Um, relying on level 10 for anything is always really bad, and I would never recommend it. However, I will probably invest a lot of... Because I don't really... Like, I'm not I'm not needing to roll. Like, I'm not really far behind. Um, in fact, I'm obviously well in the lead at 87 HP. So uh, at this stage, I'm like, I could roll and solidify my lead even further, but I'm happy to sacrifice some HP if it means getting to level 10 and getting the full extent of my composition out. War Blight Sorcerer. Interesting. I think we buy him, and then we just put that in. Question is, who do we sell? I think we sell one defector. 
it doesn't matter the levels of my defectors and my um my rest of my my glacier clan i'd like them at level two but i'm probably never going to look to prioritize them to level three so as long as i've just got one of them for when i get to that point in the composition i'm perfectly happy in fact i could just probably better off bringing on another berserker actually um it just gives me more backline dps which i am sorely lacking right now this is Raphaelu, and that's not a great pirate captain ultimate could have been on the back line but my my um armor is really strong to be honest, if you've got a lot of warriors, it's actually pretty good against hunters because you reduce the damage that they deal um, pretty significantly. Warriors are actually pretty decent against hunters. So Nuddle's out. I knocked him out. Poor chap. Poor chap. Right, experience, experience. We don't need to roll. I'm just going to roll once. I roll once and I'm at 52 because that two gold makes like no difference because it's not going to affect my income at all. So I roll once then. Do you know what? I'm actually going to try bringing on another Berserker. Probably put my more aggressive Berserker forward. But I'm happily happy to have just like one of the Berserker chilling. What does it take to get to that? What do I need? I need a Ghost Blade. What does this combine into? This needs a thingy. This is already combined into one, but we could get another one with another Broken Sword. Okay, cool. So this is Soji, and I have no idea what he's building. It looks like Goblin. It looks like Goblin Mech Warlock, um, which is a very powerful build. So I do need to be worried a little bit about Soji, because Dark Spirit absolutely wrecks warrior compositions. Really does. Very, very, very strong. I'm wondering whether to buy the Devastator so he can't have the Devastator. So roll once. Oh my god, I need these things. Uh, okay, you, you're in the bin. You're going in the bin. Um, I need him. God, I need, I need this other Doom. Who do I sacrifice for it? Do I sacrifice one of my Glacier Clan? Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, okay, Tortola Elder. This is... This is where we need to consider things like Marine... Ink, marine... I'm wondering whether if I just get Tortola Elder strong enough, like you can see here, he's silenced, and I just beat him somehow. Somehow beat him. That's insane. Zigo beat me. Zigo absolutely smashed me. Interesting. Maybe I should just bring on another red axe just in case. This is stressful because uh, this guy, I think, Soji and uh, Zigo is very strong. Let's see who we fight now. Advark. He came back. He did. He DC'd, but he came back. I should beat him, though. I've got a very, very strong Berserker right now. Again, level 2 Pirate Captain would really help me out, but it actually looks like Barmali's picked up one. Oh, he faced the Assassin guy. <laughs> get, re get wrecked. Okay, I don't need to worry about Mages anymore. The Mages guy got knocked out for me. Okay. We get to level 10, right? Close. Okay, so... I'm going to move up for this. So we can go Glacier Clan now. We can go full, full Glacier Clan, not just the two Glacier Clan. And we're going to move up for Thunder Hides because we want to get as close to them as possible. Um, and we're not actually too low on gold either after getting to level 10. So now it's just all about um, essentially... I need to find a way to position that's good for both Advark and also good for dealing with um, the Assassins. I think I've got an idea. I've got an idea about how I think can position for both of them. I'm going to give that to him. I want him to silence someone. 
pirate captain. There's Defector. There's Defector. I just need a Frost dude. Man. Um, I need to just put him there. Like, <laughs> like, okay, kind of did it. Kind of. Yeah, okay, right. So I've got some warriors in the back line, right? That's all I cared about for the time being. I just wanted someone on the back line to deal with uh, the people aggressing onto my, um, I got onto my berserker. And I, I think that this, it's not quite how I wanted to position because I was too busy rolling. I'm actually going to have to start using the hotkeys a bit more. What are my hotkeys again? Space and then D. Okay. And then E is cell. I don't even know if I'm going to have time because I think I'm going to beat these guys pretty consistently. Oh god, I'm going to beat these guys before I even get the stuff that I want. So let me just position the way that I wanted versus these guys. I'm going to make it's like a box strategy. Um, let's just roll for stuff. Okay. Um, bring him on. Box him in. I think I just win here before even managing to bring on my full strategy. I don't think both of them can lose, right? Can both of them lose? I don't think so. One of them's definitely out because I'll beat both of them. So I beat Ziggo and now Advark. Is Advark going to lose to Ziggo? Oh, he lost to Ziggo. I didn't even get to bring on my strategy. I didn't even get to bring on my strategy. Oh. I mean, I won, and I won by a massive amount, but I didn't even get to bring on my strategy. Ah! I got really lucky. Basically, I had no idea what I was going, and then I found a berserker. I was like, okay, guess we're berserker now. Like, I was thinking about going hunter, um, but then I was like, okay, we'll just take the berserker and, and go with it. Like, hell yeah. Uh, well, that's really good. I'm so happy with that outcome. Really am. Really, really am. Uh, yeah, great, great video, guys. Uh, and I guess I'll um, I'll see you tomorrow because I upload every day here on YouTube.com forward slash C4 slash Scoundrel. And Rupert slept the whole way through this video, so there's no baby sounds. See you soon. <laughs>